Welcome back to another episode of I Got Big Bowls. Paul. Everybody has podcasts. What, what type of podcast can I do that's different? Like, you know, 
Maybe y'all can reach out to some of the older artists and see where the hell they've been at. What, what happened to them? Just like, <laughs> behind the behind the music scene, like try to like dig up some of your favorite artists that you may not remember. Yeah. You know, like um, I reached out to Lil Zane, you know, oh, um, and, and Public Enemy, and Eric B and Rakim. Um, so it was and man, this was Mr. Great. Show was from Eric B and Rakim. I was great. I went. Stories from some of your guests, like behind the scenes stories or anything. Um, I thought it was a pretty interesting um, interview of Bow Wow with all the stuff that he was. It was it was yeah. a good interview though. Like he really shined a light on a lot of stuff. So yeah, that was you know, a Bow good Wow. Interview. Bow Wow's been a friend of mine for a while. Yeah. Um, you know, he reached out. You know, he was putting out some new music and stuff. So I wanted to, um, you know, touch on that. Cause you know, he gets a lot of flack for yeah. you know, some of the things that he's been going through and stuff. Yeah. So sometimes you just need to talk to somebody that isn't going to like try to like, you know, exploit you or, you know, or, or try to take advantage of whatever it is that you're going through and just, you know, talk to you and just be real with you. Exactly. So, um, so we talked about the, the music and stuff and then it just so happened that the night before he was on TMZ playing basketball around the ball. Yeah. So then I asked him, yo, like, who's between you and Quavo? You know, and, and that, that, you know, he was like, yo, like, I know this is going to go viral when I say it. It went viral. Yeah. So people picked it up. You know, they put the shades on and stuff. They picked it up. Um, but you know, it, it was good. You know, you told me some stuff off camera about yeah. you know, uh, Tyra Banks. Oh, oh that's, that's kind of me. I forgot about that Ty Ty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you're lucky man. Right. <laughs> people don't be knowing that.
playing back the playing back the show. So they thought that I knew how to produce radio shows because they would come in and just see me doing it. Yeah. So they were looking, they were looking for a producer and they was like, hey yo, you wanna produce gangster girls? And I was like, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. Oh, sure. Right. <laughs> you know, so it was like 2007, 2008, and I was like, hell yeah, you know, I'm in college. Yeah. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm on radio with DJ John every Saturday. So yeah, I'm right. Like, now everybody on the campus is loving his mixtapes, and now I'm in here producing his radio uh -huh. show every week. Wow. You know what I mean? And honestly, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Mm -hmm. And so I just, like, one night I just stayed at the radio station, like, to, like, I stayed overnight, I stayed till the next morning, just practicing, doing whatever I could to, like, teach myself and learn before I went in and messed up with the radio. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, they, they allowed me to do it, and, you know, I got the hang of it, and, you know, the rest is history. And then, you know, E.T. and Jay saw that, and they were mad, they were like, yo, we put you on, like, you need to be producing our show now. <laughs> so I ended up producing their show full time. Okay. And then um, I did that for like five, six years. And then, I, um, and then another radio station came into the market, Street 94.5. So, you know, opportunity opened up over there. So I ended up going over there for four or five years, producing my DJ Holiday show. Shout out to DJ Holiday, Holiday Season Live. And then, um, and then I was actually, after I left Street 94.5, I was actually moving to LA to do some stuff with a media company out there, and then I got a call to come back to 179, and I was like, oh, it only makes sense for me to go back. Yeah. And this time around, I can do my own thing, right. build my own brand, so I'm like, all right, let's do it. Yes, yeah. like, grind is so important, Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stay on the grind and be patient. Yes. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, they, they think that, you know, because it doesn't happen overnight, or because it happened in the first six months, or the first year, that it'll never happen, but you gotta keep going. Captain Crunch. Mm -hmm. I got a big yeah. box of Captain Crunch in the crib right now. Mm -hmm. I can't even go back and crush that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Frosty Flakes. Yes. Frosty from Flakes. And then, you know, my older, you know, I'm getting older. I'm like, got that honey bunch of the open. Shout out to the honey bunch of the open. Yeah, I mean, it's out of something. Yeah, I mean, but definitely, definitely Captain Crunch. Yeah, uh, yeah. the regular yeah. kind, not the Crunch Rage, the regular kind. No, Captain Cat. Cat. Yeah, that's right. 
Alive, Dead or Alive, Serial Conversation. Who do you think you have a ball with? Malcolm X? Whoa! This nigga like already knew too, like. <laughs> you need to with Malcolm? Yeah. I talk to Malcolm. Which, which Malcolm? The hood Malcolm or, you know what I mean, when it became Malcolm? Like Detroit Red or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> It's 
Nine grams of sugar. That's amazing. amazing. The other one has at least had 18 amazing. grams of sugar. Right? That's really amazing. Really? I've never read uh, an ingredient before, so I don't know if that's good or not. 10% vitamin C. How many grams in the That's not enough vitamin C to help you. 10%. How much for the grill? How much for the quarter.com? Make sure you have it. Work for the day was, I like the name that shit. How much for the quarter.com? <laughs> but hey, appreciate you guys checking in with us again. You know what I mean? Rice Krispie Treats, they're on the shelf if you can find them. Um, make sure you guys follow us. We're on all social media at Big Bowls Pause. We're on iTunes and Google Play. We're on SoundCloud. We have a website, firsttimemedia.net. Make sure you check it for that. It's not .com, but it's .net. So what? Just type it in and you'll get to it. That's all the thing that matters. You know what I mean? Petty fuckers. <laughs> hey. They cut your ass off. A while we're going on my rant, you know what I mean? But hey, real quick, one thing I guess we're coming through. Radio Gods. Thank you for having me. Make sure you guys are checking out for a show. What's new with Stu? Check for the podcast. You know what I mean? We just building. We building one bowl at a time. Work up. And we don't discriminate. I'm not a judger of people, but you can judge me. Leave your comments. (laughs) Share. (laughs) I am on. (laughs) This is what Fleek looks like. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> hey, see you guys here next week. We out of here. Peace.